Hey guys, it's Raging Amish. Had a good match on High Rise the other day, so it's time to review it. With this map, you probably either absolutely love it or hate it, and I love it. Before we go anywhere though, let's take a look at the map. Let me help you get your bearings here on this map. This is the helicopter pad, this is the lower level trench, this is the elevators, this is the office building with the sunroof, and this is the office building with two floors. Okay, the ranger starting spawn is here, and the spetnaz spawn is here. Right off the bat, this is one of the few maps where you can actually get a shot at your enemy within the first five seconds. If you run toward the front building windows, you can see through a little spot and snipe your enemies. Both starting spawns are hot spawns. There's also another hot spawn next to the spetnaz spawn and the ranger spawn. To be honest, both are probably just one big spawn. I don't know. There's also a cold spawn by the elevators, one outside the ranger spawn near the shack, and another below the helicopter pad. There are probably more, but honestly on this map the way it plays out is almost always the same. One team controls the center, while the other team is spawn trapped in one of the office buildings. The hotspots on this map are pretty abundant. I'd say they're here. Most of the map tends to see some traffic, but the one spot I'd say that sees no traffic is the lower trench. There's seldom people down there, and it's also your best shot at breaking a spawn trap. Go down there and try to use smokes and explosives to get out of there. Just a few things before I go into commentary. If you didn't know already, you can get on the third floor of the white building, and I'm showing it on fast forward since I'm sure most of you already know about this. Also, you can go up in the second story of the office building with the crane leading to it, but I'm going to give the same advice as I will about the third story trick. Don't. Once people know you're up there, they will have a vendetta against you. The lone exception is if you know how to move your tack insert well, but still, my experience going to these places is you're someone people will want revenge against. It's more fun to go to these places, I just tend to die when I go there. You can also go out on the crane, but seriously, don't do this. You're in the great wide open and super easy to spot. Same goes for the catwalk of I-beams. The lone exception is if you're placing a sentry gun up there. Any high spot on this map is a great spot for a sentry gun. Also, there's a little ledge here by the helicopter pad. Not very useful, but it's somewhere you can go nonetheless. And also, probably somewhere you should check if you're ever hunting for boosters. So without further ado, let's get to the commentary. So I picked Domination for this map, it was just what me and my buddy were playing. And right at the beginning I throw on uh, my Blast Shield and Riot Shield, uh, that 5th class Riot Control. The reason I do that is because in Domination, on this map especially, the hardest flag to get is B. So you just run straight out there with this class because it's got everything, Blast Shield, Riot Shield, Marathon, and you just run straight to it and you take it. Now in this one I'm actually successful, but I end up being a little retarded here because I back off a little bit too far. Almost lost all the flag I'd started to capture, but I get it, and you can see I'm taking all sorts of abuse. They're shooting me, they're throwing explosives at me. That guy got me with a flash, the little bastard. But I did alright, I got it, and now I switched to my sniping class. Now the sniping class I selected actually I kind of screwed up. Um, I normally would carry a machine pistol, but I've got an M21 with FMJ, and it's got fall cam on it. Yes, that's legit, so please stop asking me if I hacked for the 10th prestige, and please stop asking me if I have a modded controller. You're going to see that I actually take single shots. Anyway, my class setup is the M21 with FMJ and Akimbo Deagles, which people don't give enough love to. Uh, you don't need steady aim. These things actually have the smallest crosshairs, moving or not, without steady aim. Even smaller than SMGs. And yes, you don't have very big clips, but I just, you know, swap out for weapons that you pick up off the people you kill. You'll get at least three kills with it. Anyway, the idea on this map, if you didn't already know, is to get a spawn trap. It's pretty simple. It's really messed up that the devs made it that way, but seriously, that's what you do. You try and get a spawn trap. You spawn in one of the buildings, then you control the middle, and you make the enemy spawn in the other office building. And that's basically how it works. Oh yeah, and what else do I have in my class? Oh yeah, I brought Slate of Hand, which if you haven't watched my blue perk review yet, please do, because I tell you why Slate of Hand is so good. And then I also am using Stopping Power, because on this sucker, the M21 stopping power is great because it makes it play like a wall with no recoil. You just hit them in the head or chest and they go down with one shot. 
And you don't have to spray. I hate it when people say people only spray with this gun. You don't. You can also actually snipe effectively. Now, don't get me wrong. I actually do tend to spray with it myself. And ooh, just got a double kill there. That was nice. Anyway, and the third perk, as you can probably see now, is I love Sit Rep Pro. I don't like Ninja. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I do like Ninja. And if Sit Rep wasn't in this game, I would use Ninja. But seriously, I love Sit Rep Pro. You get all this information, and ooh, down they go. You get all the information on the map that you could ask for. You can see claymores, and actually at some point I spot attack insert on this map and I shoot it. And then you can hear footsteps, which is invaluable. The only time you're screwed is whenever people have ninja. Yeah, if everybody is carrying ninja, you, you know, you might as well just carry it yourself because there's nothing to really counter it. You can try commando, and yeah, commando tends to work because you get them with the increased melee attack, but... The odds are if they're carrying Ninja, they're sound whoring, which means they can hear your frickin' footsteps, so you're screwed anyway. I don't know. Also, please stop asking if I'm actually Amish. I'm not. I, I, I'm Mennonite. I just happened to play video games and Raging Amish was the name I chose because I thought it was just ironic and the name just stuck. Oh, uh, but anyway, I was supposed to be talking about high rise. Anyway, the whole idea with high rise is it's amazing how simple this is. Just control the middle. Get the middle. Now this is the ideal setup, I managed to control the middle all game, and I'm just watching their spawns, you know, just trying to get the guys to try and sneak out like I just got him. And it's kind of dirty, but really it's messed up that the devs made this map this way. The spawns are horrible. I just can't say that enough. The spawns are bad, the spawns are bad, and go, go, go deagles. Oh my. This is why I love my deagles. Quick reload with Slate of Hand, and now I pick up a TAR, and the TAR is also a great assault rifle. I know I haven't reviewed the assault rifles yet, but the TAR is awesome. And let's see. Oh yeah, got my Harrier, I put it down. With the Harrier, generally you want to put it down like right beside where you think they are. Because then you get them as they're running away from that spot, and then you also get a Harrier that can actually shoot at them. like. If you put the Harrier right above where they are, they can just sit underneath it and just stare up at it and the Harrier won't do anything. Yeah, it might hover around eventually and get to them, but then you've wasted so much time. I don't know. Oh, and by the way, if you're hearing like occasional little pops, they're they're like called little S pops or whatever they are. Like whenever you say your S's, and I'm trying not to emphasize them when I talk, the S's will actually make my mic pop. And I'm trying to avoid that, so forgive me if you hear that. And yeah, I'm still doing the same thing I said I was. I looked for that, and I thought I saw a guy here, and that wasn't. It was just a coffee machine. Sorry, Office Depot. And then I'm just running around. Oh, got my AC-130. I actually completely forgot I put it on this match. I normally was trying to carry the Pred, Harrier, Pavlo. I was just trying, you know, to get the Pavlo kills, and still working on that. But I call my AC-130, and look where it puts me. There's nothing to be had. I was really pissed. I was like, oh, I'll try and get him the side window, but there's one guy. So I just I just start getting them, picking them off, see the hair coming, which means I'm going to get even less. But I keep getting double kills because some of these guys are smart. They're carrying uh, cold-blooded. But then uh, one thing I am good at with the AC-130, though, is placing it so that it's going to land right in the perfect spot. And I do that. I get like a four or five person multi-kill right here. That was pretty, admit it. Anyway, so I'm doing all right. Uh, just got my AC-130, and I kind of wish I would have turned on the nuke, because I would have probably gotten pretty close. And so, oh yeah, if you don't know about this ladder, use this ladder, because it's a real nice way to get into this spot if people are camping it like I am. That's how I would get in to get the person who's holding that spot. I would climb up on the ladder. Now, I guessed he would do that, and he got me, stupid bastard. But I guess somebody would come up that ladder, and I heard him, so I went around and shot him. Oh my, oh yeah, and then here's some more deagle action. Now, normally deagles aren't this good, I'll admit. This was kind of a weird map. I normally wouldn't do this well with this handgun. Normally, like, I would have a more realistic reaction, which is that they would break your wrists and you don't do well with them, but, eh. And there's really not much to say about this map, because it is pretty small. Basically, you want to hold the helicopter pad and occasionally check down here to see if they're coming through the middle, and... Now, actually, at this point, I'm almost out of bullets, and I'm praying to die. There I go. And now here, I finally get pushed back, and we've lost C. I didn't see that. I didn't spot that, so I actually play for the objective. I capture the flag. I have a guy right beside me. He's not helping me get it. 
This is part of the reason why I hate domination. And also, take a look at that spawn that just happened. How the hell did he end up spawning so close to me? That's retarded. Again, the, this map is retarded with its spawns. And I'm coming back out to try and get B. They finally made a push. And they almost got it. And now they've got a hair and a pavlo. And look at this. This is pretty. Whenever they're both up, always aim for the Harrier first, because if you get in one shot, you'll get both. It's just an awesome trick. And actually, I had some fans correct me, and oh, some mini easy action. I had some fans correct me about the whole, do you put a Harrier and a Pavlo up at the same time? And I actually use Persuaded Me. Wait for the Harrier to go, and now watch this. One, two, three, they're fucking multiplying. Oh, that was sexy. And just to finish it off with one more. With the whole Harrier and Pavlo argument, you've actually managed to persuade me. Instead of calling in the Harrier and calling the Pavlo, because my old belief was it will take at least three shots to bring them down, so one of my kill streaks will at least get to stay up there. But you've convinced me I should wait, wait until the Harrier gets destroyed or it leaves, and then call in the Pavlo. And that seems to work overall better. And actually, there I get my uh, second AC-130 of the match, have some more fun with it. The guy who, uh, got me uh, with his uh, own assault rifle, he had painkiller on and I could not believe I actually managed to kill him because he was point blank, I'm spraying him, but eh, that's another thing that's fucked up in this game. Painkiller, as I like to more affectionately call it, jugger pill. And actually, I'm trying to get this guy and I'm like, how on earth does he not see me? But he doesn't. He either spawned there or he was wandering around there. Either way, I, I just, I cannot believe this game is that screwed up with spawns. And I couldn't get him with machine guns, so I pick him off with my big gun, which also, I love that sound. I just love it. And again, here, another spawn. Was he actually in the flag or did he spawn there? I, I don't know, but either way, it's just really screwed up. This map should not be on rotation for ground war, which, by the way, if you haven't figured out, that's what I'm playing here. All right, uh, it's coming to a close here, and let's just finish off the match with a nice twitching body. Yes, that's nice. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll subscribe. That's the only thing I ask if you enjoy these videos. This has been Raging Amish, and I'll see you next time. Shotgun review should be up pretty soon.